Hey guys! Hey guys! My name is Karma. And my name is David. And this is our channel, How We Life. And in this episode is actually the first episode of our AMA Ask Me Anything How We Life episode. And we thought it would be a great opportunity for us to just sit down and answer the many, many questions that we got from you guys. Thank you so much, actually. Yeah. Um, you've been asking about our situation and our investment situation in um, Istanbul, especially now with the uncertainty of the economical and financial situation in Turkey. So uh, we'll take this opportunity to kind of do our best to answer the most frequently asked questions from you guys. And actually the, the most frequent question we've been getting is that, is it still wise or is it risky to invest right now in this um, day in Turkey or not? So what do you, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it, it really just depends on like, you know, what your kind of investment goals are mm -hmm. um, and, and really why are you investing in Turkey? Yeah. And so when you look at like, you know, why you're investing in Turkey, I think you'll, you'll kind of fall into two groups. Um, either one, you're looking to do the citizenship by investment, um, which is the uh, program that Turkey has where if you spend minimum of $250,000 in real estate, then you get a Turkish citizenship. And it's actually a pretty good program uh, for the citizenship by investment programs, you know, comparatively to other uh, countries. If, if that's kind of your goal, then I would say, you know, you, you may not necessarily be so concerned about what the lira is doing, about what the economy is going to be like in the next two to three years, uh, because you could potentially see that program either increased, so from two hundred fifty thousand dollars to say five hundred thousand dollars. Uh, which we have seen in a lot of other countries or you know say a new government comes in and they completely do away with that altogether so i would say if that's your goal if that's kind of what you're looking at uh, investing in turkey for then you may not want to wait and may want to just go ahead and do the best you can at finding a solid property uh, or a couple properties because that's another cool thing about the investment program in turkey uh, the cbi is that you don't have to spend the two hundred fifty thousand dollars in a specific development um, or you don't have to spend it all in one place you can kind of spread it out into multiple properties um, if you'd like to so with that said actually uh, just a very quick note any renovation cost does not go towards the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar threshold for you to get the citizenship That's so as point. david said maybe try to look for new builds or new projects that doesn't need a lot of renovation if your goal is to get the citizenship. All right, and so that's one camp. If you're on the other side, um, and you're basically that's where we are, mm -hmm. where you're looking for a second home in Turkey, uh, but then you also want to be able to rent it out when you're not there, you know, through Airbnb or another short-term platform, then I think it really depends on your time horizon, right? So for us, we're really looking at like 10, 15, 20 year uh, investment time horizon. We're not really looking to get in and get out in the next two or three years. Um, so if you can, you know, buy a property and hold it for the long term, then I think Turkey is still a really great place to, to invest Absolutely. actually. Um, and for multiple reasons, like, you know, for us, when we look at Turkey, you know, the things like a really strong manufacturing sector, a lot of great natural resources, beautiful country, great people. And then I think another thing for us is as we're seeing this kind of shift in, in global power from the West to the East, I think Turkey could play a big part of that and really kind of benefit from that. Um, and so, yeah, those are kind of some of the reasons why we're looking at Turkey. Even with everything that's going on, yeah. it's still a really solid uh, investment. Yeah. So this actually brings us to the second most frequent question we've been asked um, is that how are we doing and how is our investment in Istanbul, the property that we bought and currently renovating is doing during this kind of financial uncertainty and the deflating Turkish zero. So what do you think? Uh, well, it's definitely been a wild ride it has, for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, when we started looking at property back in April of mm -hmm. 2021, um, you know, we looked at over like a hundred different properties. After speaking to multiple people in the market, you know, speaking to our broker, we realized that you uh, could have a budget of 300 to 350 uh, dollars per square meter for a full renovation. Yeah. Um, so, in lira terms, at that time, so we're talking, you know, June, you know, May, June of 2021, when the lira was, I think, 7.5, 7 7.3, 7.5. Yeah, to the dollar. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that was about 400 to 415 
thousand Turkish lira. Now it may seem a lot, our property is pretty large. Um, I think it's about 120 square meters. So, um, and it's a duplex, so it's a pretty sizable renovation project. Plus we're adding a terrace to the property, so that kind of uh, increased the, increase the budget yeah. for us. But again, I think, you know, 300 to $350 per square meter is a really great budget uh, for your, your full renovation project. In today's terms, you know, obviously it's, it's a lot different uh, and the budget would be a lot more in Turkish Lira terms, right? Um, and, you know, over the last you know, eight months, um, you know, it, it's obviously uh, devalued quite a bit to the dollar. You know, I think we even had one day where it dropped by 15%, uh, which is pretty, pretty incredible. And so with that, a lot of the materials that we had already gotten estimates on, you know, so say for instance, like the windows, mm. you know, we got an estimate on the windows, say on a Monday for 40,000 Turkish Lira. By Wednesday, as we're going to pay it, uh, it's already gone up to 65, 68,000 Turkish Lira just because of how fast the Turkish Lira was devaluing against the dollar. Um, it seems like it's starting to stabilize a little bit now. Um, I don't know, you know, I, I don't have a crystal ball, unfortunately, so I don't know what, you know, the Turkish Lira is gonna do over the next two, three, four months. Um, but that's kind of what we were dealing with over the last eight months. Uh, and so what we started doing was we just stopped converting large amounts of dollars to Lira and we would just convert as we needed it. Um, and that kind of worked pretty well for us. And I think, you know, our next renovation project, we would probably do the same thing where, you know, you can bring in your dollars um, and have them sit in a dollar account, essentially in your bank in, in Turkey. And then as you need uh, Lira, then you can just convert over to Turkish Lira. You know, again, if you're looking at investing in Turkey, um, you know, it really depends on your financial goals, mm -hmm. uh, what you're looking to do uh, in Turkey. Are you looking for, you know, a second home, are you in for just an investment property, um, and you know, looking for maybe a new development, something that you can renovate. Uh, it really just all depends. But I think at the end of the day, for us, Turkey is still a great, great country. Absolutely. We really love Turkey. Yeah. We've, we've created a home, a second home in Turkey, yeah. and we'll continue to invest in Turkey. Uh, for the long term, that's kind of our, uh, you know, overall outlook uh, on Turkey. Yeah. So we hope that we kind of gave you guys the answers that you're looking for. If we haven't really answered what you're thinking or what you're concerned about, please leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll do our best to do these kind of episodes, the AMA episodes, once a week or maybe twice a week, depends on yeah. the volume of the questions that we're getting. And also, uh, drop us a thumbs up, please. And if you know anyone that is interested in investing or buying a property here in Turkey, go ahead and share this link with them. They might find it very useful. So thank you for watching Thanks, and guys. we'll see you later. All right, high five. Good energy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> And this is our channel, How We Like. <laughs>